A perfect day's cricket was reflected in the stands at the SCG for today's start of the second test. Only a few fans were thrown out, the crowd observing the warning of a zero tolerance to antisocial behaviour, leaving all the action to those on the field. The first day of the New Year's test is as traditional as New Year's Eve fireworks. It began with a cracker for the Indians. For that one, and that's out, that's caught behind. One of the SCG's favourite sons gone without a run on the board. Jake's went for the square slash and a good nick. And the Indian fans could smell redemption. Uh, India, India. India. All in India. The perfect start only upstaged by a touch of Bollywood. India's leading man and our own Brett Lee are making a movie. Needless to say, it's about cricket. Uh, the film is a story of a poor village boy in India who becomes the biggest you know, cricket star. That's all I have been allowed to say. Watching in the stands, a star of Australian film and Kevin Rudd making his first Sydney Test appearance as Prime Minister. In another first, the SCG is without the hill this year. It's become a construction site, forcing the fanatics into the O'Reilly stand. The hill's gone, so now we get the sun on us all day beating down on us as well. A couple of the guys here are doctors, so that also comes into play later in the day. But it's not only the hill that's missing. The SCG Trust has been accused of taking the fun out of Test cricket. There are more than 40 bans and restrictions, anything from beach balls to full-strength beer. It leaves a lot to be desired. We should be back to the old days where we allowed have to bring the esky in, have a good time and a good day at the cricket. But cricket officials say a good day was had by all, reporting one of the best behaved crowds in recent years. Brad Schmidt, National 9 News.